Hey everyone! I hope you have had a great week. I have had an interesting one. I've been very busy with school and work, and today was my one day off, and I have to work five more days in a row, and it's just tiring. I don't. I know Ryan, you don't know what I'm talking about because you're unemployed, but working class, it's pretty hard for us. It's hard out there for a working girl. Ho ho. Anyways, I just got out of the movies. I saw A Single Man with Colin Firth, and it was so good. You can um, access the review on my blog sometime tomorrow below. There's the link. Let me know what you think of my review. Am I terrible? Am I good? How am I as a writer? Alright, well let's get to some of the questions. Nima, I'm sorry I did not see your question from last week until later. And so to answer your question of the top five bands of all time for me, or artists or whatever, um, in no particular order after the first one, of course. Uh, well, number one is Britney Spears, because I am obsessed with her, absolutely in love with her. Anyone who knows me knows that. Like, it's just part of me. And that's, I don't need to say any more, because I've already said too much about her in my life. Uh, my second one is Heidi Montag, and I know you all are probably making fun of me and gasping and doing the gay gasp and everything, but um, I love her music. She's like junk food to me. She is my junk food. Like, you know it's bad for you, but you just can't stop because it's so good. <laughs> Janet Jackson. I love her. She is an icon. She is amazing. Her dancing... Um, I think she's bigger than Michael to me. Her All For You album is one of my all-time favorite albums. So good. I can't wait to see what she does next. Um, my fourth one is the Kings of Convenience. If you've never heard of them, go download Kings of Convenience right now. They have two amazing albums. They have three, and the third one kind of sucks, but two of them are awesome. Their first one's awesome. Go download them. Very good, like, chill music, kind of like coffee shop music. Maybe something you put on your um, going to bed playlist or something. Really good. And my last one, Liz Fair. I found her in high school, and I can't get enough of her. She is iconic to me. She, her music is just fascinating. I love it. All right. I need this because I'm old and I can't remember anything. Um... All right, let's see. Jeff, by the way, welcome. Welcome to the Gaze of the Week, Jeff. So nice to meet you. Hi, my name's Scott. <laughs> uh, you asked, what is uh, something bad that we do that we would like to improve on or that we just do anyways? Well, like you, it's to sing. And I'm not going to sing for you because I don't really want to put you guys through that. But, like, I always think sometimes that I'm really good at it. Like, every time I watch American Idol, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do that next year. I'm going to go audition, and they're going to put me on, and I'm just going to blow them all away. And then I just, you know. And so it's constantly in my car. I'm always singing, and I'm like, this is going to be my American Idol song. I can feel it. It's going to be great. But, no, I'm not good at it. I never will be. All right, um, let's see. Russell asks, something that we would change about the world. And I'm sorry, but yes, it's gay rights. I think that is super important. And I know it's cliche, but that's how I feel. And I'm sorry, but that's how I feel, okay? But, um, but one thing I saw on YouTube, uh, I think it was actually on Queer Tea, uh, a couple, like a week ago or so, it was this guy who was just trying to prove a point. And so he, like, put an ad out on the internet asking someone, anyone, to come marry him, uh, marry him at the courthouse. And I thought that was really cool. Like, just the whole, he was trying to prove the point that, you know, he could marry a perfect stranger. And the fact that we can't, even if we've been with someone our whole lives, can't marry him. It's really sad. And so I'm going to do that. So any of you willing, any of you single, straight women with no babies, please, um... Want to marry me? Ryan asks, would I run for president? Absolutely not. And I'm confident that this is, I'm not ever going to run for president. Um, government was always my most boring class for me in school. And let's face it, if I ever had a campaign to run for anything, you'd know all, my whole closet would be emptied out. It would be like, oh my god, Scott Nelson has done Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Paris Hilton videos on YouTube, Drag Queen, ah! So, yep, 
not gonna do that. I think that would, or maybe that would make my campaign fun. Maybe it would make all you people that don't vote come out of the woodwork and vote for me. Hmm. Maybe I will run for president one day. Nima asks, what's the last book that I read and finished? That would have to be The Lovely Bones. I read it for the first time my sophomore year of high school, and I um, read it again recently to prepare for the movie, and I love that book. It's fantastic. It's very graphic, but really, um, yeah, involving reading. And I, um kind of mad at myself because I missed it in theaters. I had like, plans to go to it this week and it's already out. So, thanks everyone who didn't see it, which made it go out of theaters really quickly. Alright, well my question for you, since it's the uh, Winter Olympics 2010 Vancouver, my question for you I think is very appropriate to all you GWs and viewers out there, is, um, excuse me, oh my god, I have a case of the Jeffs. <laughs> If you could be an Olympic athlete, what would be your event slash sport and why? Well, it was so nice to talk to you guys. Um, and please comment below. We love reading your comments. And well, why not post a, a video reply to our videos, you know? I hope you have a great rest of the week. And be sure to check back tomorrow when... Who is tomorrow? Jeff is going to be on Gaze of the Week. Thanks. Bye.